Hey guys, what is going on? It's Lightning Fox HD, and we're here in Just Cause 2 on the 17th of December 2013, <clears throat> which means that it is eight days until Christmas, I think. And this is the second time that I've made this video. One or two people might have noticed that uh, it was up originally and then I had to take it down because for some reason the commentary track didn't work at all and I didn't want to leave it up with no commentary whatsoever because what's the point, eh? So, <clears throat> we're back again. Gonna do pretty much exactly the same thing again. Uh, that last video was about 35 minutes and it took about three hours to upload. <coughs> so I'm not gonna do that again otherwise it won't get uploaded today so what I'm gonna do is make it a little bit shorter and hopefully make it a little bit more interesting because there was a lot of dead space in the last <laughs> dead space <laughs> sort of dead space in between stuff happening in the last one anyway because it had been a while since I played it and I was still figuring things out so I think it, instead we'll just focus on what we were primarily gonna do in the last one anyway which was just mess about at the airport, attaching cars to the aeroplanes. Uh, I am a bit gutted that it didn't work properly because <clears throat> it was actually a pretty good video. But never mind, shit happens. Guess you just roll with the punches. Chances are the, the audio won't work on this one as well and I'll be back in the same position. Sun going down, making it look awesome. Nice bit of atmosphere going on. One of the things that I did say a lot in the video just before this, the the original Just Cause 2 video, is that this game continually looks good and stuff. That it's impressive still today that they managed to fit so much into it and keep it looking so good. And yeah, you could argue it's looking a little bit dated now, <clears throat> which it is. It's a fair point to make, but for what it is, it's still a impressive feat. I mean, this game is a lot bigger than Grand Theft Auto V. In terms of land space, anyway. Oh, we just just managed to survive. So yeah, so this is what we were doing in the last video. Pretty much just uh, hanging about on the runway and trying to attach cars to the aeroplanes as they take off. I think this is the runway that we need to be on. Although saying that, we don't need to be on any runway until we get a car. <coughs> so let's go this way. So annoying when you spend all day working on a video and then it ends up uh, just having to get deleted. <coughs> so... Huh? Enemies after us. This is where we go to get a jeep. Just in here. See if we can stun jump under it. Yeah! Oh, and there's some enemies. <clears throat> One thing I discovered in the last video was that it's very, very hard to die on this game. <clears throat> like, as a, as a human person within the game, Rico can soak up a lot more bullets than a car can. Which is a little bit crazy. At one point I was actually in the car and it exploded. And I still managed to get up and get out and survive. Is this airplane moving? It is, but that's... This is what I did last time. That's not the runway that I want. I want this top runway. Which I'm guessing is this airplane here. <coughs> I love how you still have control of the car even when you're not in it. Even though it is limited. Uh oh. Right, so that isn't particularly what I wanted to happen, but never mind. <coughs> cool. Right, stunt jump under the top. Attach one end of the grapple hook to there. Other one to there. Get back in the car. I like to uh, keep the handbrake on a little bit. Uh oh. <laughs> Good start. <coughs> so once the airplane starts taking off, we'll disconnect the uh, grapple hook and we should go flying and hopefully we won't explode. <coughs> it's weird how the handbrake puts the 
brake lights on. Does that happen on a car? I imagine it probably does. Just not used to it in games. Here we go. Whoa. Hey, there we go. Can we land on all four wheels? <coughs> nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, and it blew up. And case in point, car exploded and we've still got half health. Oh, but we died. Nightmare. If I had just got out at first, I was just going to casually get out of the car once it had landed. <laughs> well, that didn't work. <coughs> and now we're probably going to spawn miles away from the airport. Nightmare. Where are we at? Oh, we're back at the... The villa. I guess that's not too bad. It's still a bit of a boring journey, though. In fact, wait there. One thing that I'd forgotten about um, the last time that I did this video. If I can get off. We can just do a, an airdrop. <clears throat> Extraction, that's what it's called. Right, so where's the airport? Uh, there it is. Du -du 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 -du. Drinking some more green tea. Helps us chill out a little bit when videos have to get de deleted. And all your, your hard work gets ruined. Like Drebin or someone. <clears throat> right. Let's parachute at the last minute. That's always funny. I actually thought that I was going to hit the... I don't know, the... Thing that I nearly hit. I can't remember what you call them. <coughs> Nope, it's completely gone. I don't know what you call them. The thing. No enemies here. Nice. Get the siren on. Why not? So, yeah, the, the suspension on the cars is good. But the handle in itself... <laughs> I'm not a big fan of. It feels as if... I don't know, the turning circle's huge on nearly every single car. And it's not as responsive as I would want it to be, I guess. Right, let's try again without dying. You gonna stay connected this time? Stay connected! Wasn't that like a... Orange or O2 advert back in the day. And these talk talk. If we can catch it just at the right moment when it starts accelerating, we'll be able to accelerate with it a little bit. Here we go. Oh, I think I just missed it. Whoa! Disconnected itself that time. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't. We're still on. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty anticlimactic, but good nonetheless. Right, so I'll do the other thing that I did in this video, and then we'll bring it to a close now. Because, like I said before, I mean, I've already spent like three hours uploading this video. And now I'm going to probably have to spend another hour uploading it, so... Hopefully you guys will forgive us for making this one shorter than the last one. But I've got big plans for tomorrow. I'm going to be playing a really good game. And now that this...
didn't work out exactly how I wanted. I'll put a little bit more time and effort into doing the video tomorrow and hopefully we'll be best friends again. <clears throat> so what I like to do now is attach to the aeroplane and stay on it until we get over the mountain over the other side where the, the snow is and everything and see if we can survive. I think this is still connected to the back of the truck so when it takes off we're going to get spun around. Sun's just coming up. It's going to be nice atmosphere to be flying over to those mountains in the distance. Here we go! No! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Right, so the last time I did this, I did, uh, attached the front of the car and it sort of it landed a little bit weird. We managed to survive it last time, but it was a little bit of a precarious landing. So I'm hoping having the, the front of the car facing down is going to have us stand a better chance of surviving. And the uh, sunrise there looks pretty sweet. It does take a little while to get over the the mountains though. Time to drink some tea, eh? And one of the other things that I did mention in the last time in the last video Last time in the last video was that it's the seventeenth of December man. Which is like a week until Christmas. <clears throat> I can't believe how fast it's gone. When I first started doing these videos like a different game every day I thought you know it's gonna be crazy trying to come up with 25 different games to play and have it be relevant and interesting and some of them have been more well received than others <clears throat> I never really had the intention of getting like a million views on every single one of them though I just wanted to do something a little bit different and I know Dark Souls kind of suffered as a result of it because I haven't played it for ages. But don't worry, I'm going to be picking that up again really, really soon. And we're going to be going all of the way to the end of the game with that. Um, what I'm probably going to do is just sit and record it for a full day. <clears throat> After this 25-day Christmas countdown is all done and dusted, I'll sit down for one day, record maybe six or seven videos for Dark Souls, and then I'll schedule them to upload every day. And then hopefully within those seven days, I'll be able to keep recording so that there'll never be a day where there isn't Dark Souls. So if you're somebody who watches my channel, watches my videos for Dark Souls, then rest assured it's coming back really soon. And the chances are it's going to actually be next week uh, because, I mean, it's Christmas next week anyway. And once we've got this 25 days out, I'll be less stressed. I'll be less worrying about what videos to do and... Stuff like that, and I'll be able to focus primarily on doing Dark Souls, and I'm also going to pick up Magic the Gathering as a series as well that I'm going to be doing. But that'll probably only be... I'll probably do Dark Souls every day, and Magic the Gathering a couple of times a week, and then maybe something else. I'm not sure yet, though. Feel free to leave suggestions. I'm always open to suggestion. Okay, so I'm going to assume that we're pretty well positioned at the moment. I can't tell, though. <laughs> Yeah, you pretty much lose all control of the camera when you're like this, so... I'm looking at the radar and thinking I'm right over the mountain, so... Let's do it. Hopefully we'll regain control of the camera soon. Anytime soon would be great. No. <laughs> I promise you I'm trying to change the camera angle here, but I can't. <laughs> wow, and that was a huge explosion. Let's dive out. <coughs> yeah, so we didn't survive. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not surprised. <coughs> and there's another cool feature of uh, Just Cause. I've got snow all over us now. I don't know, man. I was saying it in the last video, and it's probably going to sound less genuine because I was surprised last time, whereas now, you know, I, I do... I'm, I'm aware of it again, but this game... It doesn't get the credit it deserves, man. In terms of games of this generation, this has got to be very high. I mean, it's really impressive. And still today, it's 
a bloody good game, man. Definitely worth playing. If you've got it in your collection and you haven't gave it a go for a while, pull it out and give it a go. It's awesome. I wonder if you can uh, attach onto these. That would be pretty sweet. Oh my god. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this before, but it's uh, it's cool. I would also like to say just cause three. That would be awesome. And imagine a just cause game that was harnessing the power of next generation technology. <clears throat> uh oh. I think that would be pretty sweet. Because it's already like technologically advanced, I think. To be able to fit what it gets into the game. Um, and to be as densely packed as it is as well. And also to have all of the different uh, climate zones and stuff. and It's quite a reactive world. It doesn't feel as if it's dead. I mean, it does feel a little bit empty at times. But it doesn't feel dead. It would be nice to have some Red Dead style ecosystem with animals and stuff as well. That would be pretty sweet. But I think that that would probably be... I don't know, a lot a lot harder to achieve in a game like this. <clears throat> also, I don't think that it would need to be any bigger. I think this is probably about the maximum size that I would want a game to be. Because, I mean, this takes bloody forever to travel across. And GTA 5 feels pretty big. But like I say, I mean, this is a lot bigger than GTA 5, I believe. In terms, in terms of... Time to travel from one side to the other. On top of the world! Is that a base down there, is it? I think it might be. What time are we on? 17 minutes. Let's go down there and then we'll close the video off. I feel bad making it a short video given that it was like... 35 minutes last time, but I honestly just don't want to sit staring at the bloody YouTube upload screen for ever. Oh, there's a colonel here. I think he's heavily armoured. Haha! <laughs> Um, I don't... I used all of my ammo last time. Oh, is that a grenade? Yes. <laughs> oh, wait there. I've got a bloody rocket launcher on me back. Is that something that I can use? How do I equip that? Oh, I've got no ammo in it. See if we can request a, an ammo drop. <laughs> if we can get an ammo drop for the rocket launcher and just blow them up, that would be hilarious. Equipment. Mm. Rocket launcher. How much? 80 grand? What? That's a bit expensive, isn't it? It's better work. Drabbing. The other thing I was doing in the last video was my amazingly awesome ocelot impression, which I'm not going to be able to do now. <clears throat> because I'm under pressure trying to do it. <laughs> that was good. See you later. Yeah, so the, uh, the ocelot impression was... Um... Oh, hello. Excellent speech, comrade. <laughs> What just happened in the world? <laughs> oh well, that seems like a good a place as any to end it. So, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then please subscribe. Keep your fingers crossed that this recorded the sound this time. And until next time, guys, stay awesome!